Hello, this is Cassandra from Little Mama Hair Bows. Um, but today we're not gonna make hair bows. We're going to make some shoelaces like these. These are shoelaces. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, what I'm going to be with the tools you're gonna need, you're gonna need a, a heater, a, either a hair dryer. Uh, I just have what is called a pro heater. I picked it up at Michael's. Okay, you're going to need a pair of scissors. You're going to need some shrinkable plastic tubes. You're going to need your E6000 and some ribbon. This is 3 8 of inch wide. You know, it, try to use the double sided where the patterns on both sides if you can like um, the ones I have here you can see that the, if the pattern is actually on both sides of the ribbon so you want to try to use that but you don't have to you can use whatever you like 3 8 works best I had already completed this this one, these are shoelaces that you can you can make them for yourself. You can make them for your American uh, doll. Um, you know, you can just, you can make them to match your hair bows, um, especially like when you do your surroundables with your three eighths inch ribbon. You can use you can make your laces to match that. Okay, let's get started. Okay, we're gonna take the uh, the ribbon. And um, first, let me get some E6000 glue ready. Or we, I can just use it right out of the tube here. Um, this is what I. This is what you can do. We're just going to prepare one in it. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue, just a little bit of glue on there. And I'm just doing that, just pretty much to try to hold it in place, because I want to actually take this and kind of to make it round so to speak so I'm just gonna pretty much just squeeze it together like so like that because I want it to fit inside the tube and so just kind of make it as small as you can and until you can get it start working it kind of down inside your um, plastic tubes. People say that you can pick these up at the uh, Home Depot, the tubes anyway. Uh, an, electrical an electrical section, the tubing that they use, um, you know, for the electrical wiring. Okay, I'm, this, this is going in here pretty good. Um, if you need assistance with this, you can always use you know, I do. I make a lot of jewelry, also, and I always got some wires laying around. So I'm just gonna take this piece of wire and I'm just gonna push it the rest of the way through. Okay. Um, and then I'm gonna pull it through, and then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my E6000 now, and I'm gonna put it uh, just a dab of it, kind of on the outside, kind of on the outside of the. Um, the lace, the the ribbon, okay? And then I'm gonna pull the tube back down over it. You see that, just pulling the tube right back down over the glue, okay? You can just, you can just wipe off the excess. Now you're gonna use your heater, you're gonna turn it on, and all you're gonna do is you're gonna, hold, you're gonna, you can either hold it in your hand, I do, or you can use, um, let me show you. Because it will get really hot. Sometimes I use my my pliers here, my flat nose pliers. And uh, I use that to hold it because what I'm doing now, I'm heating the tube up so it can shrink. Okay? And you want to try to get the tube to shrink down to like one eighth of an inch. Um, if you can, and you want to heat the you want to heat the tube up all the way around, all angles. Okay. 
is what you want to do. You want to, I might be a little too close to it because it will melt. And if you keep it too, if it depends on how hot your heater is, you can actually melt your ribbon. Um, I have done that before. So be careful. You know, when you get it hot, then you want to take your fingers and kind of roll the, you know, try to keep the two, have the two keep its shape. So I just kind of roll the tubing, you know, once it's good and hot. And, and I just keep on until I get it to, to shrink. And trust me, it will shrink. Just put enough heat on it and that tube will shrink. It's a great way of coordinating your, like I said, your hair bowls and your great American doll clothes. You know, because it will curl. Just take it and just roll it. Just roll it. Or you can lay it down on your mat and just roll it. Just try and keep... Um, just try and keep the uh, tube as round as you can. I'm just rolling it on the mat. Okay. So you do that because, like I said, it'll start curling on you and it will, because it's shrinking. Now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to let you get your other end ready, and I'll get my other end red ready, and I'll come back, and then I'll show you how to complete this, okay? Okay, stay tuned. Okay. I hope you got that completed. I got mine completed. Now I have the two pair, I have the pair of shoelaces. Now they're complete. Now I'm going to actually hold the ends together like so I'm going to take my scissors and now I'm going to just cut them probably about one eighth off okay now and then I'm going to use some E6000 just put a little bit on your finger a little E6000 on your finger not much just a just a dab of, of E6000, you can probably see it's not much on my finger. And we're gonna put it, we're gonna put that right on the end, very ends of these. Okay. That's what we're gonna do. And then we let those dry. We're gonna just take the other end. Take the other ends, and we're going to we're just eyeballing it. We're gonna take our scissors and we're gonna cut off. about one eighth of an inch of that and we're going to take the E6000 from those ends take a little bit on the finger okay oops it's oozing out there and we're going to just 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 we're just dabbing it right on the tops of these uh, laces is what we're doing okay now, what you have completed is a pair of shoelaces for either to put with your hair bow when you design your hair bow and use that same type of ribbon to coordinate it, or you can use, um, use it in your American Girls dolls um, uh, shoes, you know, and you can just, just, just a great thing to know how to do in the event that you need to do it and you can use them for yourself if you want to coordinate some shoelaces with an outfit you're wearing. Well, thanks once again for watching. Like me, subscribe to me, and keep watching. Thank you. Bye.